Hi, I'm Dusk, the anime boy with a plant on his head. And today, we're gonna play some Genshin Impact. And I'm starting over from the beginning. Because I just kind of felt like it. <sighs> and this is just gonna be a nice, chill, casual let's play. And I may not remember a lot, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about any of those things. We're not going to worry about controls or anything else like that. We're just going to play the game and just enjoy it. I think that's what video games are supposed to be about. I'm not sure though. I question that sometimes. But... Just going to play through this. Have fun. Enjoy things. Look, emergency food. <laughs> Old joke, I know. So, let's see here. Let's get through the tutorial. Oh, map, right. And yeah, I'm using controller because I'm kind of just feeling lazy today. I don't want to set up, use the keyboard. All right, let's do this. The path ends here. Guess we'll just have to climb. Climbing depletes stamina, and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Mm hmm. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? Yeah, Traveler, which one? What? C can you say anything? No? Oh, okay, that's fine. You don't need to talk. You can talk when you're ready. over the world among the seven gods this god controls the wind Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god but Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first and there's a reason why as we all know poetry and language flow like the wind Right, There'll I should not jump off that cliff. I don't have a glider yet. Sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. The music's pretty nice. It's peaceful. Oh, right. Do not you go into water right with depleted over. stamina. I can swim over when I don't have depleted stamina. Otherwise, I will sink like a rock, Paimon. Yay, a map. Ooh, did 
Did you just feel the elements of the world? It seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of Animo. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. This can't be good. It's a bit rude to say that about the power the gods just gave you. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then. The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. All right, tutorial. G goodbye, slime. Uh, right, I have to wait for it to recharge. And there we go. God, I love that about the animal power. How it combines with with other elements. Disappear. Oh. These are the animal powers you got from the statue of the seven. Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? Maybe one day, Paimon. I if you're good. Anyway, let's head to Mondstadt. to murder slime first, because I can. Wow, what is that? There's something huge in the sky. It's headed towards the heart of the forest. We must proceed with caution. Let's just follow the big scary dragon. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad ever happens from running headlong into danger. Like this. We even got rewarded for it. With, uh, stuff. I'm sure I'll eventually remember what those were for. Set us. Come back. Oh. Right. That's yeah. Oh well. You you can leave, lizard. I I won't pick you up.
So, so long, dragon. That was close. Paimon almost got blown away. Luckily, Paimon managed to grab hold of your hair. Thanks. Good, good thing you didn't pull out my hair. Just what was that? Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. Hmm. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Is talking to dragons normal? <sighs> of course not. How do you know? Maybe talking to dragons is normal. D do you, are there a lot of dragons? Is there a norm for talking to dragons? The not talking dragons? How do we know, Paimon? Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Yeah, because that's always a good idea. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. If you see glowing red dangerous things, you should always approach them. That's just natural. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. So, you think it's dangerous, so obviously we should take it with us. Okay, sounds good to me. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. Sure, it's local. Dusk is perfectly a local name. It's local everywhere. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? You know I have to do it. Emergency food. Hey, that's even worse than being a mascot. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! She's doing her best, Paimon. It's hard to talk in official manners. Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Yay, we got Amber. Suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, looking for your... Yeah, yeah we'll get back to that conversation. Oh, right. A is cancel. I'll remember that eventually. <laughs> There we go. Hmm. Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. 
but first, gotta hit rocks. J just a little bit. Man, this is so much easier with the Luke. Uh, okay, we're not doing any more of that until I can get a great sword user. Please, please let me get a great sword user. to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. All right, sense of murder, ahoy. I mean, I guess it's not senseless. They're dangerous. your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Barely broke Now that sweat. you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed, and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helps make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Reasonably safe until they respawn. character up. To Mondstadt. Oh, right, cooking tutorial. Never go adventuring on an empty stomach. What should I cook next? Oh. Are you travelers from around here as well? No, we just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smells good! I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. Oh, there's a cooking pot right there. Show me what you got. 
It's good to have someone to practice with. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Honestly, all this talk of cooking is kind of making me hungry. <laughs> remember eventually. There we go. Is it done? Mmm. Smells good. Let me try. Mmm. Hum num. Now that's really tasty. You're indeed gifted. Paimon told you so. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon! Okay, so... Now, now we got a Mondstadt. Now that we're done with... Don't mind me. I'm not doing anything. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Look, I'm just putting into practice what I was just taught. I have to have ingredients. So, so what if we had to murder a couple of pigeons? Introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Pavonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? You can get a reward when you learn how to wield a sword, Paimon. Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there, 
They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. <sighs> Traveler can run about as well as John Ward. No, I shouldn't say that. John Ward would never run. It's against his religion, I think. This way. I'm not getting lost. Remember kids, we're never getting lost. We're just going on an adventure. <sighs> um nice. okay, yes. So the present I want to give you is a wind glider! Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Uh, alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. The sky! I suppose we could try talking to her. Nope, nope. Very much does not want to talk. Very much does not want to talk.
You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. Okay. So we just murdered a dragon. So... Or, well, no. Didn't really murder. We just kind of dissuaded it. With... Wind words. We talked it out. Anyway. I think that's where I'm going to leave it off on this episode. So... You know... Like, comment, and subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Genshin Impact. Bye bye.